It is heating up between Julia Fox and Azealia Banks. It's been going on all day and we've got to get into it because they're both really exposing each other and Azealia is reaching new lows that I simply cannot respect. Hey guys, it's Morad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe and click that button. So Azealia Banks was obviously dragging up Julia Fox last night, but it seems that Julia, that means Azealia Banks was dragging Julia Fox last night, correct? Julia has now responded and isn't having any of it, to be honest with you. And they're both going back and forth, um, all going back and forth. So basically, they've been taxing each other. And, you know, Julia has responded to Zila saying, talk sh about my son again. I'm about to post the whole podcast where you talk sh on trans people to a trans person. You're so mad because nobody s with you, Azealia. You literally tried to say you're on Beyonce and Rihanna's level and I have it recorded. Ha ha ha, we play it and laugh at you. And Azealia's responded saying, okay, your son is a crack baby, what's next? I don't think you should bring anyone's children into it. I think that's disgusting. Um, Richie needs to work on his facial fam. That's they until further notice. Maybe pawn that Birkin and fix that jaw. Yawn as if these successful divas care what kind of black um, see you next Tuesday. Reject meltdown you're having. Ha 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 ha. Then Azealia posts a picture of um, Julia Fox taking some kind of substance and hashtags it nausea. I don't know where she's got in this picture. I assume it's public anyways, because to have something like this is very damaging if it was private. Um, and then, not, not taking the swipes lying down, Julia then responded and posted a series of text messages um, between her and Azealia, which she then deleted. In these messages of Julia, um, she says, Julia, who sells Molly and Paraset in, in NYC, basically looking for these substances, asking for this type of stuff. And um, she responds saying, so it's come to my attention that this troll keeps calling me a junkie. Um, sis, do you recall Azealia Banks? And then Azealia saying, let's go out and, call, and pull paparazzi shots. Do you know any paps? I found some leads. This lady at the edition is just not effing with me. I need a discounted suite because I'm about to shoot a video this weekend and my wardrobe t is taken over. And she said, I'm such, a, I'm, I'm such a junkie and I'm so gross, but here she is asking to get papped with me and then also asking me for a hotel plug. Um, so it's really back and forth and she's really exposing it for being quite desperate. To be honest with you, this is so horrible to say it's a real effing disease. Um, and I've also been open about my, my you know, rehab, my recovery, but nobody wants to mention that, right, if this troll says one more thing about my parenting or my son, I was too nice to her because I felt sorry for her, but now I realize why she spends all the holidays alone. Nobody wants that energy. Right. Um, I do, you know, think that it's very unnecessary for Azila to be posting pictures of her with some kind of needle, to be posting and talking about her crack baby and stuff like that, like talking about people's children. And then she's being exposed for the fact that she herself was asking for these substances and that she herself was begging to be papped saying, let's call paparazzi. So, you know, Julia has really said, you know what, let me actually respond to you. And, you know, I feel like Azilia does have a mouth, but she doesn't, doesn't have anything to back it up. Elana Dore was one example. And I do feel like sometimes she's right, such as when it comes to Kanye West, he is an abusive individual, but sometimes she takes it too far and then gets dragged back when somebody actually gives the time and wants to respond to this low level energy when, it's, when it comes to some people. Sometimes she hit, hits it on the mark and lands perfectly. Sometimes she's funny. Sometimes it's very you know unnecessary and she goes below the bell and she's basically been exposed and rightfully so. I completely agree with Julia here. When you come for somebody's child, it's disgusting. It's very unnecessary and it's completely wrong, but it seems that it's gone back and forth and it is a lot. Kanye West is still mentioning Kim Kardashian, still mentioning his ex-wife. And borderline 
bizarre. It's just so bizarre. Um, he obviously has deleted it now. Um, but he put he put a picture up of Kim K and some kind of caption. I was going to read it, but unfortunately he has deleted it. But the fact that he's still doing so is to me insane that he would do that. Um, like, why are you still posting stuff? There is a new documentary of him being released, and apparently it's very, very good. I have yet to watch it. I think I will watch it on Netflix. But it shows a lot of his life, his mom, Donda, as well. And I suggest you guys watch it if you guys want to. Um, I do think it's intriguing and also coincidental that it's coming out now. Um, yeah. I do find that interesting. Charlemagne has spoken out on the Kanye West stuff saying that, you know, I don't know why so many people are deriding this man because he has money. And I think that's a great way to put it. I don't normally agree with this man, but I'm agreeing with him today because Charlemagne is right in that a lot of people around him are yes man because this man has a lot of wealth and a lot of money and a lot of coin. Can you imagine if there was, this was a, a situation where Kim was broke, had no money, like was powerless to what this man was doing? Then it would be far more dangerous than what we're actually thinking about. Far more dangerous if you want to deep it far far more dangerous guys i think Kanye will be fine because Kanye is a man and i do think that you know he will be fine but the man is crazy and i feel like he's rude yes he's got my manic episode of bipolar guys but there's no excuse for behavior like this because his children are going to see all of this when they grow up and he's still attacking her and stuff i think it's ridiculous azealia banks tried to for, i'm sorry but julia fox has dragged um, azealia i'm so sorry for to be exposing stuff like that direct hypocrisy you can't be trying to drug same somebody but then you're the same body who wants these illegal substances and then you, when you read when you go for somebody's children you've reached a whole new level of low and you know it's just embarrassing it's embarrassing man very embarrassing anyways let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this video are you on um, what are your thoughts on the azealia julia beef i think it kind of you know extended to a whole new level yes when azealia drags it can be entertaining but sometimes she does go does go a little bit too far and it's very unnecessary and julia had time to respond julia was being basically being mocked for some shoot that she was doing i don't know what she was doing but she was on the floor praying to somebody i don't know who did the shoot who directed it but it was an absolute mess um, absolute mess and hopefully we don't see anything like that from her ever again because I, I, I was shocked. I was in tears. I was crying. And, and hopefully, yeah, it's just a hot mess. I'll post some pictures in this so you can see a slideshow of what the hell was going on because I still don't know. We need to figure this out. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button, and I will catch you guys soon for another video.